Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another video on the five-eyed guys channel I'm your host Brugley the five-eyed guy and today I'm gonna be going over a backrooms level called level infinity from over on the fandom wiki This one's really crazy. So get ready sit back and relax grab some popcorn and enjoy the video Let's get right into it. Shall we? Backrooms level infinity is a really mysterious and really unpredictable level and it's thought to be connected to the true final end level which is that level that I went over that's like 30 numbers long. You know what I'm talking about. It's got 1.5 million views. The level itself looks like a typical airport terminal from real life except it stretches out in all directions for an infinite length. The windows in the terminal that are supposed to look to the outside area are all whited out during the daytime, so all you can see is the color white. And when it hits nighttime, they all turn a purple color and then open up to the outside. Now no one knows what happens if you go through one of the open windows, but some think that it takes you to a completely different random level, but it's not recommended to try because no one even knows. The level has lots of resources inside of it as well since there are stores on each side of the hallways and there's shops that have food and tools and flashlights and even almond water and there's pretty much everything that a normal airport has from real life. There's one really weird thing that happens when someone stays on this level for too long though and it's that you'll start to hallucinate visions of your family or friends or loved ones from real life inside of the terminal. You'll be able to see them but they won't interact with you, you'll just see them walking around. No one really knows why people hallucinate here, so that kind of adds to the creep factor, I guess. There's also a possibility to hear messages telepathically spoken inside of your head from an unknown entity in an unknown language. You won't know what's being said, but your body will be able to feel with an emotional level what's being said. Even if your brain can't comprehend what's going on, it's like you subconsciously know what they're saying. But so far, no one's been able to describe what it means. If you are having hallucinations though, or hearing the voice in your head, it's recommended to not eat or drink any food or drink anything from the stores at all on this level and just to drink almond water that you brought to cure yourself because some people think that the store's food and stuff is poison, yada 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 yada, doesn't matter. There are actually some airplanes that can be boarded from the terminals, but sometimes stepping into an airplane leads to really weird glitches to happen to yourself, like your physical body, and even sometimes you can glitch out of the level. And sometimes people teleport far away instantly from the plane, and this leads people to believe that there might be a backroom's exit inside of the planes, but it's not proven, and it's not recommended to try unless you're desperate. Because this level is so weird and is seemingly located at the very end of the backrooms, near the true end level, some conspiracies have been tossed up that the backrooms and all of reality itself is just a simulation. Now I did talk about that simulation theory in another video, I'll link it below, but it's because of how real this level and other levels feel and that the glitches that are common in the backrooms, and on this level specifically, don't make any sense for real life physics. So why does it make sense here when other real life physics apply, unless it's all a simulation? But uh, just a theory. The level also has a really weird effect on documentation of it on the websites, where sometimes pieces of information are then just randomly translated into some weird language that no one knows or can decipher, which is kind of lame if I'm being honest with you, but whatever. As far as bases and outposts go, there's actually one here, it's called Meg Base Veska, and it's just located inside of the terminal where the spawn location is. It's got about 8 people in it, and they'll offer you food or help if you need it, and they also offer you a place to rest, but it's not smart to take them up on that offer because the longer you stay on the level, the weirder things get, like those hallucinations and weird voices in your head, so just play it safe and head towards an exit. Speaking of entrances and exits, if you want to come here, you can noclip in level 365 to be sent here, or you can noclip through an airplane from level 1089 to get here. And like I said, you need to leave fast, and to do that, you can risk getting out through joining one of the planes. 
apparently at the gate for each plane. There's a whited out humanoid, this completely just an outline filled in with white, that will ask for identification, but you're just gonna have to ignore them and keep going, they'll eventually let you. Or if you want to get an easier exit that's not as risky, you can go find a door labeled blank in a maintenance room in the terminal area to be sent to the level that you came from. And there are like nine other exits, but they're too complicated or convoluted for me. So to summarize this level, Level Infinity is an infinite airport terminal with the typical stuff inside and out. There's shops and planes, just like real life terminals, and the only thing different is that it's all infinite. If you stay on the level for too long, you'll start to see people from real life walking around, and you'll start to hear a weird voice in your head saying random stuff. And if you get on a plane, you could theoretically be sent anywhere, even back to reality. Doesn't that just sound fun to you? Actually, it really doesn't. And yeah, that is it for the video. I do hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for everything you do to support me. I genuinely appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, the channel just hit 150,000 subscribers. I, how, like that, you guys are just insane. Four weeks ago, the channel was at 110K. And just four short weeks later, we're at 150k. You guys never cease to amaze me. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you just for everything you do for me. We're growing so quickly, and I, I literally just can't even fathom it. Every day I look at my phone, and it's just crazy how much we're growing. So thank you so much for 150k. I want to get 300k by the end of the year on the channel. So let's aim for that as the end of the year goal. If we smash it, then let's go. We'll push on farther, but 300k is the goal. Last video is literally just blowing up, and it's all thanks to your awesome support and sharing the video, commenting on the video, liking the video. I, I'm just speechless as always. You guys never fail to impress. Thank you so much, and I appreciate all that you do for me. Make sure you check the description down below for any links that you might be interested in. Go follow me on Twitter. Go join the Discord if you want to talk to me or anyone else from the community. Make sure you leave a comment telling me what videos you want me to make or any suggestions that you have. Because, you know, I'm always looking for extra suggestions from you guys. Thank you so much to my patrons and channel members for supporting me a little bit extra. I genuinely appreciate you guys. Thank you so, so much. And thank you all for making the Brooklyn movement the dopest movement on YouTube. You all are awesome. I appreciate all of you. Go sub to my second channel, Tukli, for my new house tour soon. That's going to be pretty cool. You get to see my setup tour and everything. It's going to be lit. Also, prepare for this summer on Brooklyn and Tukli both. Content is going to be coming out every single day. It's going to be awesome. If you're watching to the video this far, comment Boogsy, so I know you're a real one. If you comment that, I'm definitely dropping a heart on your comment because only real ones stay to the outro. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching and supporting me, and I'll see you later. Peace out.